Hey guys, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how the spider crawl exercises work. That way when you're going through the exercises you don't have to hear me re-explain it every single time. They're all going to work the same, we're just going to change the finger pattern each time. So here's what it looks like. exercise videos, we're going to use a metronome to start off at a slow pace, usually 60 beats per minute, and gradually work our way up to 120 beats per minute, so you'll be playing twice as fast. In the beginning, we're going to start off by doing two beats of the metronome for every note, so it'll sound like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's going to help train you to hold the notes out longer. Usually in the beginning, my students will sound like this very sad. So we're going to try and hold them out. One, two, three, four. So that becomes automatic. Um, after we get to 120 beats per minute doing that, then we're going to go back to 60 and do one beat per note. One, two, three, four. So here's what the exercise is going to look like. I'll have a metronome going. I'll count one, two, ready, go. start off with two clicks per note. And we work our way all the way up to string six. We do that up until 120 beats per minute, jumping 10 at a time. And then we go back to 60 and do one click per note. One, two, ready, go. tell my students on the first day that if I were a boring teacher, this is the only thing I'd show them in the first day. and This is the only thing I'd have them work on for the first week. In the beginning, you know, it's really just hard to get control of these four fingers. You've never really had to use your fingers independently, especially like your uh, third finger and your fourth finger. So we need to just kind of take a week to get used to using these fingers like this. Another thing too is it's kind of hard to coordinate, you know, one finger, your fingers going up and your hand going up the same distance. I notice a lot, you know, a student will move up to this string, but this hand will go up two strings. Um, so this is good for coordination between the two hands. This is also a great way to develop grip strength in the beginning. The notes are produced by pinching the strings down with your thumb. So there's a muscle right here that we're trying to uh, get stronger. Um, and the only way to do that is by just squeezing things. So this is a good exercise for just lots of little squeezes, building that muscle, becoming more accurate, becoming faster, more fluid. And practicing with a metronome like this is also going to naturally fix any sloppy or uneven playing. One of my favorite things about this exercise, too, is eventually, once you get smooth, you can just kick back, watch a movie, and just kind of sit here and do this. pretty mindless once you get good at it, and uh, that's not a bad thing. A lot of uh, guitar exercises you want to be able to do mindlessly while you pay attention to other things. Uh, it'll help you uh, create more room in your brain to keep track of all this stuff that you've got to keep track of. Well, here's a few do's and don'ts for this exercise. You definitely need to make sure you've got curled fingers. You should be making almost a circle with your, with your fingers here. You want to use the very tips of your fingers. Let's see if I can get... Here's the dents in my fingers. You can see where I'm placing the strings. They're pretty close to the finger nail. If I show you the fronts of my fingers, you can't see them. It's only on the tops of the fingers. Your thumb should always be pointing toward the ceiling. A lot of students will try and point it toward the wall, which brings your wrist up here instead of keeping it down here. If you have your wrist curled like this, it allows you to stretch your fingers a lot further than if you've got your wrist up here and now you can't stretch them at all. So it's very important to keep your thumb pointing toward the ceiling, uh, not over this way. I see a lot of my students try and put their guitar in their armpit while they strum. You don't want to do that. That makes it so you're strumming over the fretboard 
instead of over either the pickups or if you've got an acoustic guitar, the sound hole, that's where you want to be strumming. So you want to keep your elbow up top here. On my guitar, I've even got like a little curve, a little carve out right here that makes it a little comfier. But that'll help balance the guitar. You want to be able to take your hand off and uh, without the guitar moving so you can just shred. Well, that's gonna do it for this demonstration. Time to try the first exercise. Uh, see how far into it you can get. Um, and every day, just keep trying it. Uh, and before you know it, you'll see that you can get a little bit further and then a little bit further, and uh, then you'll be done, ready for the next one. So if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments and uh, I'll try to get back to you.